My name is John Sadler and I'm president of Sadler Sports and Recreation Insurance. Welcome to our video webinar on seven critical insurance and risk management services for sports and recreation associations. This video was designed for sports and recreation administrators who manage large associations such as governing bodies and sanctioning bodies on a national, regional, or state level. It was not designed for smaller local-based sports and recreation administrators. If you have questions about and are interested in improving and upgrading your existing insurance and risk management program, I'm confident that you'll find value in this video. I'm really excited about the way we've been able to mix in PowerPoint and website screen capture video to illustrate the unique services we're providing for our clients. Since this video is going to take about 20 minutes, I recommend that you shut your door to get some privacy and have a pen and pad handy to take some notes. At the end of this video, we're going to offer a free service just for those who attend this webinar. If you're like most of the association administrators we work with, you have four major concerns about your insurance and risk management program. First, you don't want to be embarrassed by having a big dollar lawsuit filed against your association without having the proper insurance coverages in place. No administrator wants to be remembered like the captain who sank the Titanic in the event of insolvency by lawsuit. Second, you don't want to be personally wiped out in a lawsuit. You're probably aware that as a director or officer, you're likely to be shotgunned into any lawsuit involving the association. Even worse, you have personal liability and your personal assets are on the chopping block, such as your home, car, investments, retirement, and savings funds for your children. Third, you want to prove your value to your members by offering an outstanding insurance plan that they can't get without being a member of your association. This means that you want to offer the broadest coverage available at the lowest possible price. And fourth, you actually want to prevent the injury or lawsuit from occurring in the first place by implementing a simple and effective risk management plan at both the association and membership levels. It makes good sense to promote safety within your association and to minimize your insurance cost by protecting your loss record. Before we get into explaining how these concerns can be addressed, there's one very important question. Why should you listen to me? First of all, in answering this question, let me say that there are a lot of hungry insurance salesmen out there who will tell you just about anything you want to hear to make a quick sale. Most of it's centered on lowering your price, and many don't know how to properly interpret an insurance policy and are not qualified to give you any risk management advice. I think it's important to know who you're talking to and their qualifications, especially on a technical topic such as insurance and risk management. As you scan the bullet points on this page, of primary importance is my past 23 years of experience with our 10 plus national organization clients. I've already run across just about every insurance and risk management problem imaginable, as well as the related solutions. Like all good sports and recreation insurance specialists, we provide the basic services that are outlined on this page, but these basic services are just the minimum qualifications to be in the game. In designing your insurance program, we review the exposures to loss and the coverage needs of both your association as an entity as well as those of your membership. We recommend the different types of insurance policies that are needed and customize each policy with special coverages. We approach the marketplace and have discussions with the most likely carriers that will do a good job on your type of risk. Based on the feedback, we send a formal application and receive a proposal. We review all of the proposals and hammer out the details of coverage and get additional price concessions. We report the results back to you and the winning carrier is selected. This page represents a list of the managing general agencies, also known as MGAs, 
and the carriers that we most commonly represent. We do represent others as well. The point is that we can access almost the entire marketplace in this niche on behalf of our clients. There are two important things that I want you to know about our markets. First, we have an excellent reputation with our lead MGAs and carriers, and they recognize and appreciate our professionalism. They know that we have a very high placement success ratio when we send an application to them. As a result, applications that we submit go to the top of their stack and tend to get the most attention and the sharpest pencil. We also have a large premium volume with our lead carriers and I have personal relationships with the underwriters and senior management. This translates into a successful formula. Second, just because we access a carrier through an MGA such as K&K &K or American Specialty does not result in a higher price to our clients. Yes, there may be two middlemen, for example, K&K &K and Sadler, but each performs separate services on behalf of the carrier and there are no duplication of efforts or expenses. Every service that we provide is one less service that the MGA has to provide and as a result, they're willing to take a much lower commission. Yes, you can bypass Sadler and approach K&K, &K, American Specialty, or any other MGA on a direct basis. But, in my opinion, when you do that, it does not save you money. They only represent one carrier, so your options are limited, and you won't be able to take advantage of the unique services that we offer. I know this sounds ridiculous, but we actually promptly respond to incoming phone calls and emails. Response times are monitored by our management on a weekly basis. We frequently hear horror stories about some of our competitors who don't respond at all to communications from members. We recently added a new online chat option as a form of real-time communication, and our clients absolutely love it and are amazed that their questions are answered instantly. Here's a very short list of the major advanced services that we offer that distinguish us from the competition. We're not in the business just to make a quick sale. Our advanced services are evidence that we have a genuine interest in the protection of our clients and their members at the absolute lowest cost, and we want to provide extraordinary value that is the basis for long-term relationships. When it comes to determining if our clients are being charged a fair price for their insurance, we don't just rely on what we're told by the insurance carrier underwriters, since they are biased to get the highest rate they think they can sell. We perform an actuarial analysis on our custom software that uses the same, or in many cases, more sophisticated techniques than what our underwriters use. This analysis indicates if our clients should get a rate decrease or a rate increase in order to arrive at the break-even pricing point. Armed with this type of analysis, we have a lot of credibility when we argue for a rate decrease. Our underwriters know that they can't pull the wool over our eyes and ask for an unjustified rate increase. Here's an actual analysis that we ran on one of our clients before we started the negotiations for their accident policy renewal. As you can see, our program crunched the numbers and suggested that the rates needed to be decreased by a range of 5% to 25% in order to arrive at the break-even point for the insurance carrier. This proved to be very persuasive in our negotiations because the underwriter unsuccessfully tried to argue that they were actually losing money and needed to maintain the rates as is. I can tell you that very few of our competitors providing this type of valuable service. An unexpected claim denial can have a devastating impact on the finances of your association or on the personal assets of your directors, officers, employees, or volunteers. Most uncovered claims result from little known coverage loopholes that can best be detected by using a customized checklist. Since I'm an attorney and have had over 23 years of experience being a sports risk manager for multiple national organizations, 
I can tell you that our checklist are quite comprehensive and will uncover significant problems nearly 100% of the time. Our checklist will reveal various types of lawsuits and property losses that are not covered and we will discuss the implications of each one as well as actual examples and scenarios so that you can put them in context. You may decide that you're not worried at all about some but that others could have a catastrophic impact on your mission or your finances. Oftentimes, we're able to negotiate to have your policy endorsed to eliminate the problem free of charge. If we can't fix the problem for free, you can either purchase additional coverage for a charge or you can consciously decide to go uninsured and we can help you implement risk management controls to make the loss or lawsuit less likely to occur. It's of vital importance that all contracts be reviewed for your protection, preferably prior to being executed. This includes the contracts that you draft, such as your rule book, membership agreement, tournament host agreements, approved supplier agreements, and where you lease your facilities to others. This also includes the contracts you enter into that were drafted by the other party, such as where you are the lessee of a facility or equipment. The key contract provisions that you need to be concerned with as regards liability are the insurance requirements and the hold harmless indemnification. Where you're the party in control of the contract terms, you want to make sure that you are adequately protected by having these provisions in your favor. On the other hand, where the other party is in control of the contract terms, you want to make sure that you are not agreeing to any insurance provisions that exceed your program parameters and that you don't unfairly assume too much liability under a hold harmless indemnification provision. Also, over the past 23 years, We've run across many troublesome provisions in these contracts that often lead to litigation against sports and recreation associations, and we always look for these with a critical eye. Once again, my legal background has been invaluable to my clients in the areas of contract review, and there is no way that a regular insurance agent can duplicate our service in this area. For those associations that have membership insurance programs where participation is voluntary, such members want to be able to enroll, pay, and get their proof of coverage documents in real time on a 24-7 basis. As a result of this need, we pioneered one of the first custom software solutions in the sports and recreation insurance industry 10 years ago. If the situation is right, we're able to customize such an online enrollment website for any client. Here's the link to the online quote from a youth football client's insurance homepage that we customized on their behalf. Here's the quote engine where the member selects the coverage limits and the number of teams to get the quote in real time. If the member wants to buy after receiving his quote, here's where he or she completes the contact information. Here's the online payment screen where the member pays with his or her checking account information. Here's the final page where the member gets links to print off his or her proof of coverage documents and claim forms in a PDF format. Here's a sample proof of coverage certificate that can be immediately printed. This is our risk management webpage that has the links to all of our programs, forms, and articles that I personally wrote after extensive research and conversations with experts in each field. Many of our risk management programs, such as those on child abuse molestation, have been adopted in whole by our national organization clients. Our programs often tackle complex topics and repackage them in a volunteer-friendly format so that they're simple but effective. 
our clients often have questions that involve liability and lawsuit prevention and mitigation. We answer most of these questions in-house, but if we don't know the answer, we have a network of national experts at our disposal, including Herb Appenzeller, who I consider to be the father of sports risk management. We're always adding new content to this section on our website, so be sure to check back frequently. This is our blog webpage that has a ton of valuable content and is organized by specific categories. It also has a search feature that will allow our visitors to easily research any particular topic or question that they may have about sports and recreation insurance and risk management. Once again, our clients always have a lot of questions and this is a great place for them to get detailed answers. And finally, a word about the importance of injury tracking and research. Most of our competitors that offer accident insurance offer very limited information about the types of injuries that are occurring. We're able to work with our clients to customize injury surveys that are required to be completed with the filing of an accident claim form. For example, we worked with a youth baseball client to customize this injury survey form that analyzes 14 different variables from each injury that occurs. Variable examples include age of the injured person, activity while injured, location while injured, position played, body part injured, type of injury, contributing factors to injury, and estimated absence from playing. Once we receive the form that is completed by the team official, we input the data into our custom software program that produces both standard reports and custom reports. Here's an example of a standard report for youth baseball that breaks out the physical cause of injury by frequency and age group. You can see that the number one situation causing injuries is hit by thrown ball, followed by hit by batted ball, followed by hit by pitch. Here's an example that illustrates the power of our custom reports that are able to drill down through multiple variables to answer a question. In youth baseball, a recent topic of debate has been about the dangers to pitchers of being struck by batted balls hit by so-called hot bats. This report illustrates that for the years 1994 to 2008, 2.54% 2 of total injuries have arisen from pitchers being struck in the head, face, or torso from batted balls. Armed with this type of multivariable analysis, sports and recreation organizations can finally get answers to questions that help them to decide whether or not to mandate rule changes or safety equipment changes to make the activity safer. We can offer the basic and advanced services described in this video to almost any sports or recreation organization. I'm not in this business to just make a sale. It's my passion to protect sports and recreation associations and their members against the pain that is caused by injuries and resulting lawsuits. I value long-term relationships with like-minded association administrators that share my concerns. If you're interested in any of the services that I've discussed in this video or just want to talk, please contact me at 800-622-7370 or at john at sadlerco.com. I would be happy to either answer a specific question or to discuss the process by which we could become your new insurance agency. As a bonus for attending this webinar, I'm willing to offer a free coverage audit or pricing audit for one of your insurance policies. Take me up on this offer and I'm confident that you'll be pleased and quite possibly surprised with the results. Thank you for your time.